Hi, I'm Brooke Matsumoto. I was just wondering if I could drop off a resume and some samples of my writing. Do you have a referral? No. Then I can't accept it. Sorry. Uh, you know, Wild America is the magazine I've been dreaming of writing for ever since I was like 12. Any chance I could just leave it? Sorry. Okay, thank you. You always make my day worse. How's your day going? Busy. <laughs> Sorry about uh, bursting into the ladies' room the other day. <laughs> Do you think you could ever forgive me for being crazy and insensitive to womankind? I believe in forgiveness. Great. Can I ask you a question? Why do you cover your hair? Why do you not eat meat on Fridays? I do. Didn't your mom ever teach you not to talk about religion? My mom died when I was little. Oh. Sorry. I'm gonna get back to work. Ross? Yeah. Fry the creamer. Oh, sure. Francesca, these underwear are so matronly. Oh, I'm a widow in the 1500s. I wear these underwear so no man will ever touch my vagina again. Just deal. So I was thinking we could make dinner tonight. I was gonna make that lasagna that you love. It gives me hives, but I love it. <laughs> and I can make a pie. I think we could just buy one. Why? I invited a boy over tonight for you to get to know. And I'm concerned that if he has one of your pies, he's not gonna wanna get to know you anymore. You need a stable man, Karen. You are so condescending. This is why everyone calls you Clara Sending. <laughs> I can't talk to you anymore. I'm going to masturbate, because I'm a dumb slut and that's all I know how to do. Ah! 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 These are so cute. Do you make these? <laughs> Dear God, I know that I haven't prayed to you since the boys at Christian camp changed the cover of my holy bible to say the but holy bible, but I feel like you're trying to tell me to do something, and I don't know what it is, so could you give me a sign? Oh, holy Mary, mother of God, I need a break. I'm so glad you're here. Francesca. Why do you have a bible? What, what's going on? It's from God, and I think he's trying to tell me to tell you to keep your baby. Like, I think it's gonna be something special. Where did you get this? I found it, and look, it says, to Brooke, from Jesus. Um, oh! It also says, if found, please return to Brooke Huang, 9172 Herod Street, apartment two, West Hollywood, California. Doesn't your gut ever say that the universe is trying to tell you to do something? <laughs> yes, to take a nap. Look, I'm gonna pretend you never told me what to do with my uterus. Return the book. No, it's mine. Mm. Do what you want. Pie is beautiful. I'm telling you, this is the thing about store-bought pies. They are just consistently good looking. Did you go see who that is? Hey. Vaughn. This isn't a good time. What? Uh, what, you guys not ready? Vaughn. Hi. Hi. So glad you could come. Oh, me too. I was stoked when you said K-Dog wanted us all to have dinner together. It's easy for you. You look great. 
That is a disgusting play on words. How did you even find him? Well, I guess you didn't know how tech-savvy your boring older sister could be. You mean you looked at my phone? I just really want to see you follow through with something. Why can't you believe that I am capable of making myself happy? You are my sister. Have some faith in me. Everything OK? Vaughn, before we start dinner, I just wanted to clarify why I asked you here. I don't think we should date. Oh. I guess the flowers are a bit weird then. <laughs> I really wanted to have you over for dinner because I want us to be friends. No, no, look. <laughs> Thanks for going to all this trouble to let me know that you just want to be friends. <laughs> I'm, I'm still stoked. Me too. <laughs> yay, yay. What? Yes. Yeah, Mom, I know. I know, Mom. You know what? I, I gotta go, Mom, okay? Um, just tell Dad I, I said hello. Great. I don't want to talk to you while you're in your pro-life face. I didn't say that I was a pro-lifer. I said that your baby might be like Jesus or something. That was my mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. I call her to tell her about the baby, and all she can do is talk about how the high school that she teaches at won't let her put up a student production of Hotel Rwanda. Oh my god, didn't she learn anything from the Shawshank fiasco? No, it's like, it's for art! <laughs> You know, I know she's always a disappointment. Why is it that I keep going back for more, you know, like hoping that maybe this time she will fix things? Sometimes we have to believe there's an easier answer to our problems. You believe in whatever that is, your mother, and while you're doing that, you take the time to prepare. And then when you're ready, you face your shit for what it really is, and that's okay. Profound. Profound. <laughs> hey, dork. Could you drop off the Bible at your mailroom at work? I'm sorry for telling you what to do with your uterus. I love your uterus. I think I just needed something to believe in. XO. P.S. Don't wake me up to tell me this note is cute. This <laughs> bitch is tired. Teenager. I discovered my hair because my mom's told me I should. So last night I sat down and I read it. Actually, I lied. I read two pages and then I Googled it. And I found out, I found out that like nowhere does it say that you have to cover your head. It's actually just kind of a personal choice of modesty for Muslim women. And I thought I'd try it like this for today. Well, your hair looks gorgeous. Thanks. But actually, that's kind of why we do it, so we're not objectified. Oh, well, I just meant that your hair looks uh, intelligent and, well, conceived. Well, thanks. So I'm sorry for being defensive. 
I believe in forgiveness. Ross? Yeah. My mom's also died when I was young. Car accident. Cancer. You have really nice hair too. I just wanted to tell you, as you probably already know, that I decided to uncover my head today. I still believe in Islam with all my heart. I guess I just... I'm starting to believe in it a little differently than you did. Anyways, I miss you both. I love you both so much. Brooke, my sister's about to get here. Hey! Is she still all cracked out? Time to spill the dirt on your sister. I don't have any dirt on my sister. I'm sorry, how are you black? Come on, strong now. Catch me quick. It won't take long.